Hi there, my awesome art friends. Today I have an outrageous art lesson for you that is perfect for the fall. It is a Yayoi Kusama inspired pumpkin collage. Now you probably already heard of Yayoi Kusama because she is one of the most famous living female artists in the world. But just in case you haven't, she was born in Japan in 1929. She moved to New York City in 1958 and she became part of the pop art movement. She's most known for her brightly colored dots that she puts on everything from people to everyday objects. Her infinity mirror room installation has been installed in museums and galleries all around the world. One of my favorite quotes of hers is that our earth is only one polka dot among a million stars in the cosmos. Polka dots are a way to infinity. I think another way to infinity is by creating some amazing artwork. So today our goals are that you will be able to recognize and identify the style of art used by Yayoi Kusama and to be able to understand and identify pop art. We want to use the elements of art in order to design your own amazing Yayoi inspired pumpkin. Pop art is one of my favorite styles of art. It started in the 20th century and it's an art movement that utilizes imagery and techniques from popular culture and consumerism. So are pumpkins popular? Yes, especially with Yayoi. She loves pumpkins because of their humorous form, the warm feeling, and the human-like quality that they give. She desires to create artwork using pumpkins still today. When she was a child, she actually began drawing pumpkins in pre-war Japan, where her family owned a nursery that raised kaboka squash. I am so inspired. I cannot wait to design my own Kusama pumpkin. So here's what you're going to need. Pencil, colored paper, Sharpie, scissors, and glue. The first step is all about color. We're going to select a color for your pumpkin, and normally you think of pumpkins as orange, but your pumpkin can be any color you want. For step two, using a pencil, you are going to draw a large pumpkin shape with a stem. Now, we wanna pretend like we're Kusama, and you want your pumpkin to have an interesting shape that looks almost human-like. So it can be tall and skinny, round and fat, but we wanna to try to make it look as three-dimensional and real as possible. Once you've drawn and traced your amazing pumpkin with Sharpie, the next step is to start adding your patterns of dots. Now Kusama's dots were making a vertical pattern that looked like it was kind of waving across the pumpkin, but you can do any type of pattern you want. Get creative and think of something cool. So making the patterns took me the longest just because I had so many different dots. But once you finish that, then we're gonna use an element of art called value. Value means that we're going to be adding darker shading to the edges of the pumpkin to make it look even more round and three-dimensional. Once you've finished shading, then we're going to choose a complementary color for your background to go behind your pumpkin. The complementary colors can be found opposite of each other on the color wheel. Once you've cut out your pumpkin and glued it onto your complementary color background, step seven is to use a pencil to draw broken line patterns in the background. I tried to kind of make mine look like broken glass, but it's really up to you what kind of patterns and lines you wanna put in your negative space. I was so happy with how my pumpkin collage turned out. A good thing to do when you think you're finished is put your artwork up on the wall and stand far away from it. That way you can tell if it's missing anything, if you need to add anything, and you can think about maybe what you would do differently if you did it again next time. 
The last step is, of course, to hang your masterpiece up and share it with the world. This is my favorite part of the art process is to be able to enjoy and share it with others. So I hope you had a lot of fun learning how to make your own Kusama pumpkin collage. I had so much fun that I decided to also make some Kusama pumpkin earring sculptures. So you can even make a sculpture of a Kusama pumpkin. There's really no limit to what you can do when it comes to art. So I hope you guys had fun and I hope you have an artistic day.